Hey, this is uh, Cullen and uh, Complex 2 Easy or something like that. I'm sorry, I don't really can't pronounce your name. I've come up with a variation for your robot that you made and you asked for help with it. Um, so this, see, it has the arms and all that and it has a bit of a head. I'm sorry, uh, my voice is so all weird and low and stuff, uh, yeah, so, how it's created, um, still with the pleats at the bottom, same pleats at the bottom, so, you know, from there to there, and etc., but, here, um, let me see how many units, uh, I divide it in 16, so 1, 2, 3, 4, four units away from right here so that's where the pleats end, it's one, two, three it's three units away from where those pleats end um... I added some of these so a pleat here, a pleat here, like that, mountains and the valley so I added one, two I had two and a half of those so after you add two and a half of those and you basically have the pleats, um, what I did was not exactly pleats, but you see a reverse fold down up. And I repeated that, and what I got after those down up folds was something sort of like this. So I collapsed it. It became almost zigzaggy. So I did that for the other one, down up, down up. Then collapsed the whole thing so it could lay flat. I got with this, so I added some reverse folds here, did that, and then, as you see when I started the video, I did those final shape increases for the legs, for the legs, um, and then, now, right now, I'm adding the feet, but, see, it's still the basic robot design, but I added some more stuff. So, if I upload this in time or email it to you or whatever, um, that's it, so, do you understand? If you don't hear, I'll go over it again in more detail. So, I'll outline the creases. So, I have that, that, you know, and I have these. See? Like that, I have that and those. But, it, one, two, three, so let's see. So here, so this goes up one unit, and one unit up here, I went up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units up. And that, that eight units up branched out at 45 degree angles. Right here, and right here. Like that. Those are all mountain folds. And then the valley fold here, then the mountain folds there. I did that for three times, see? And, but that was after I did these pleats, see? One, two, and a half of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five units pleated. Um, see, I might try to. See, so I did that, those five units pleated, and I did all mountain folds there, and then the valley fold, and all mountain folds, and the valley fold with these box pleats here. Um, to get that, see how it's all zigzaggy? Do you see how I did that? If you have any th questions, just comment. Um, so, up, downy stuff, you know, like that. There's that. Um, and I collapse the whole thing. Add some reverse folds there, as you see. Reverse fold, reverse fold. Um, there, so you have the base. Then just do, you know, folds and folds. You can develop the legs how you want. And it's a robot-like thingy. Um, so, yeah, if you have any Skype address, I mean, could you just...
Do you, if you have some email address or some way I can contact you or something, could you just leave it in my comment section or whatever, or PM me or something? Because you're awesome. I mean, I found some other origamiists, which is awesome to me. So, um, yeah. So, is that all? Um, I need to think. Yes, I do. Um, I think that's all. So, oh yeah, I just saw that comment today. So, you know this, if you have any troubles finding it. I mean, if you have a Skype address, I might show you on Skype. I could be able to show you on... I would be able to show you on Skype. That would be neat. I mean, another origami is being doing on Skype. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, see ya. I guess. Or... I don't know. Yeah. Bye.